Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about work experience versus computer science degree. So let's get into it. So the question, question was, Frederick, can five years of experience working as a software engineer really replace a computer science degree? Yes. Holy shit, yes. If you gave me the top ten computer science uh, grads of any school in the world, literally any school, and you gave me three of the, uh, like I, I just say, above average uh, software developers who with five years of work experience, I would pick the, those guys and girls every single day of the week. Every single day of the week. Unless we are literally doing something related com completely to theoretical uh, work or like we're doing something ex specifically with machine learning and that is assuming that the computer science degree kids are specializing in in statistics uh, or in uh, in machine learning specifically in some way otherwise they're practically useless and I'm not joking guys you think I'm being cute here but I'm not joking a freshly educated computer science ki uh, computer science college student uh, who doesn't I, if we're just assuming that they haven't put any type of other effort into it like they're not doing like side work or anything like that they're just doing the education they will be completely useless uh, for in uh, almost every single time nine, uh, nine uh, times out of ten they're gonna be useless I have to this day never ever met or worked or even talked to a computer science student who had even a hope in hell to code at the same level as someone who has been working for five years there it's like it, it, it's not even a, it's not a comparison that is even worth doing because uh, the person who has been working for five years versus the person who has been studying academics and like the theory of computer uh, computer science isn't like one is doing the thing that the other is educating themselves to learn how to do so they, it's not really a good comparison the one thing i will say though is that these, if you are a self-taught developer, if you've been working for five years, there's different qualities of people who have been working as software developers. And that's something that is really worth knowing. If you have, if I on the other hand find that, all right, you give me five completely self-taught developers who haven't taken, uh, who have, like, who have a low quality level of experience, because it's that's the thing that really matters, the quality of the experience of work that you're doing. Now, when I say that I take the person who is going to have, who has been working for five years, now I'm assuming that that person has been working in a fashion that is relevant to the modern industry, to professional grade software development. In other words, they have been working in a company or like a, a group of other developers where they have quality education if it's a self-taught developer who's been doing some small freelancing gigs for five years they're practically worthless as well apart from knowing some basic tools they will lack the thing that the computer science college students will have in nine times out of ten which is a basic understanding of the theory of how to write software and all of the data structures and like object-oriented path principles and like all of this stuff they will not have any of that and if I'm gonna pick between those two well mm, it's a hard it's a hard thing I, I would say that in that case it's if I will go I, I will go and say that well then I'm gonna go with the computer science the computer science people like or the students because they will have a foundation and then we can teach them or we can teach them the uh, the tools that they need in order to produce the results you, you can of course do that the other way around it's just that what's risky about taking in a self-taught person is that you're basically gonna have to unteach them it's like it's like unlearning uh, or as my old martial art teacher used to say Frederick the reason why I want to, to oh, I'm extra picky about your technique is because if you start, if you do it wrong and you let that sink in, it's going to take twice as long for you to unlearn 
the like uh, the wrong uh, the incorrect technique and that's exactly how it goes if you're dealing with a self-taught developer who has an idea of how to write software but they really don't have quality education it's going to be a hassle to deal with because you can't you can't leave them alone i've worked with developers like that where you give them a task and they say they know what they're doing and then they produce absolute garbage and you have to redo it or you have to sit with them and basically code for them and at the very least with a computer science kid you know that they don't know anything so you have you can build them up from the ground up you don't have to undo a bunch of stuff you have to start from a foundation of good under hopefully good understanding of what this all is about and then build them up and once you've built them up and made sure that they, the techniques are, and the skills are there you can trust that they will produce good results so what I want you to take away from this is that in general terms if we go by my definition because if you have five call if, if you have five years of quality experience from the software industry then you are more worth you are worth more to me than than any uh, any computer science student that I've ever seen because at the end of the day the computer science stuff is absolutely useful for you to understand the right mindset and understand the theory about writing software but you are not doing it you are preparing to get one section of all the skills well that's what you're doing you're getting a segment of the total skills that you will need in order to be a successful software developer and that's just part of it the other part is is much 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 more important in many cases which is to be able to actually do the work the theory isn't worth anything if you can't do anything meaningful with it on the other hand if it's not five years of quality experience and you're talking about some self-taught uh, uh, freelancer who's just done like really low-end stuff with uh, with basic basic tooling is uh, they, they are uh, they're then they're worthless uh, they were actually they're actually more likely to be a problem than the computer science students because I'm gonna have to we're gonna have to untrain and then basically teach them the thing that the computer science kids already know which is the theory which is all of this stuff so it, that's not a great uh, it's not a great situation either so yeah that's going to be my answer have a great day